So check this out. This morning, I got up, and I'm sitting in my basement, and I hear whining, like a little puppy in stress. And I paid no mind. I thought it was actually coming out of my TV or my stereo or whatever. So I turned the TV down. I turned my stereo down. And the whining continued. So I figured it was coming from my neighbor's yard. So I go outside and I look. As soon as I open the door, the whining stopped. I guess it was because of the noise of me opening the back door. I go to look in the neighbor's yards, and I don't see anything. And then, as soon as I'm about to walk back in the house, I look in my. I decided to look in my shed, and I see this little head sticking up. It was in my shed, and I don't know if it has been there all night or not. And this thing is so lovable. Like, as soon as it came in the house and I put it on the on the floor, it just started swallowing uh, my other dog's food, Buddy's food, down without chewing. Because this, this dog is such a, a little puppy. So I fed her milk and everything, and now she feels relaxed, and she's sleeping here on my basement floor. So, I think somebody just threw her out. And I think I'm going to keep her. Sorry, it's a him. We checked. It's a, it's a he. But what an adorable puppy. How can somebody throw this dog out? And it feels so comfortable now. Because we loved her up. <clears throat> yeah, I I don't understand how people's minds work sometimes. Like, for someone to throw this puppy out in the cold like it is outside. And it ending up in my shed is ridiculous. But, you know what, I'm going to keep it. I, I cannot throw this puppy away. And it feels so comfortable right now. Problem is, it's getting off on the bad track. Starting off on the, on the bad track. The first thing it did when it came down here in the basement, when I brought it down the basement, it started licking the top of my beer cans. So, I don't want it to out. I don't want it to be to come out as a drunk. But she's so comfortable. She's sitting underneath my chair right now. If you guys can see, I'm gonna move the camera a bit. And if you guys can see, he's sitting right underneath my chair right now. Look. He's obviously comfortable here now. Um, I don't even know. He probably was out there all night. Because as soon as I got up, I heard the whining. So anyway, I thought I would show this. I am going to keep the puppy because I don't know who it belongs to. And for it to be, end up in my shed, somebody had to be throwing it out. That didn't want it. Now it's your turn to get the peace of mind that comes with having Car Shield. So you can sleeping worry less right about underneath repairs. my chair. Go online right now to get Car Shield. I'm afraid to sit on the All chair so I representatives are available don't bother him. So if your car wake him up, he feels so newer, comfortable because I saved him. Well, I don't know if I saved him, but in a of he was stuck in the shed. I was elated that I had car but I was more than happy. He's so cute. It's fun when you have a car and it's broken and you can't pay for it to get it fixed. Here's how Car Shield works. When your car needs repair, you take it Like I said, I'm, now I'm afraid to sit on the chair and to bother him. That's why Car 
I'm gonna go try and sit slowly and uh, is just the best thing to take away the fear see if he still feels comfortable your car because it will and car shield is going to be there to back you up but I think he feels now that he's in the safe place if my car breaks down so anyway cheers guys thanks for watching this